What's up guys? In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix a uh, Bluestacks 5 lag, all right? And basically this lag comes because uh, normally once we install this uh, Bluestacks, we can try to uh, get the best performance in order to play or whatever is necessary to do here. Okay, but uh, this is going to be depending on uh, the resources of our computer, okay? So uh, let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is try to find what is in inside your computer. It means what is the resources that you have in order to uh, set up correctly Bluestack itself. So let's go for uh, set up correctly uh, in the DAX manager. So in order to open DAX manager, you can just uh, type here to search, okay, and type DAX manager. It is. All right, also you can uh, open this with uh, control L and delete, okay? But in this case, let's go into open here, text manager. So let's can find a, a process called Bluestacks, okay? Then it's this one, okay? Uh, just to remind you that this process won't be visible if you don't have Bluestacks open it, okay? So uh, right click on it, go to details, and then we got here hd-player.exe, okay? This is the process that allows you to provide you graphics inside of Bluestacks. Okay, so right click on it. And then set priority, okay? And I really recommend here that to use normal or height, okay? As I said, it depending on your computer resources, but never use real time, okay? So in my case, I'm going to set as your height, okay? Change priority. And this means that uh, the priority of the graphics once Bluestacks is open it, uh, is going to be overlapping uh, or over um, process that we got here, okay? So after this, we're going to find for the graphic settings, okay? You could just type it here, graphic settings, and then here you got option, just click on it, okay? And then, uh, if we already have installed Bluestack, it's going to be listed here, okay? Also, you can browse the application itself where um, the file path, okay? You can find it from here, okay? So in this case, you can see that Bluestack has had, had the high performance and also the geo check utility, okay? You can click on it, options, okay? And as I said, depending on your case and depending on your computer, we got options to uh, let us us Intel HD graphic, in my case, that this is an integrated uh, card that is coming with my laptop, and also have a graphic card for uh, gaming, okay, that is this one, okay? So if you don't have any laptop with a graphic uh, card, so there's no more options. I mean, it's just to let, let Windows decide, and, but you won't have uh, any more choices to do. I mean, if you're suffering a lag, then this is because the hardware itself, okay? But if you have a graphic card, it's, it's really nice to check that the graphic settings is set up correctly, as you can see here, okay? So, uh, let's go back to the blue stack itself, okay? And uh, let's go to the settings. And here we got the performance uh, settings, okay? So CPU allocation means how many cores are going to be uh, used by Bluestacks from your computer, okay? Uh, this is like a beautiful machine, okay? So my suggestion is that if you have, uh, for example, four cores, okay? You need to use two cores, okay? I mean, always the mid of their resources. And also here, the memory allocation is two gigabytes. In my case, that this is the RAM, uh, memory RAM, all right? So in order to do your resources, you can come back to the text manager and the tap toe here, okay, we got performance, okay, in here. Okay, so once I'm click on it, uh, you're gonna see uh, basically the information of your computer, okay, and you got in this in my case i have four cores okay so it means that i need to use two cores inside bluestacks okay so and also for the memory ram okay you can just 
type here about your computer, okay, about your PC. And here we got that I have this start run 24 gigabytes. Means that I can go a hub until uh, 12, okay. But I think that looks at only allows to until four, I think. Let's go back to the settings here. And yeah, the height is four gigabytes. So it's really, in a, it's enough, okay. So just click on it and save changes. Then Luxstat must be restarted. Every single change that you do here, you need to restart Luxstat itself in order to uh, make the performance, I mean, make changes. So here we got open it again. Okay, and then let's come back to settings itself and uh, let's go to display. This is depending if you're still experiencing lag after changing your performance settings that I showed you before. So I really recommend doing is playing into 1280p, but it's going to be slightly lower quality, but you, your performance is definitely better because it's focusing less on the graphics and just making sure uh, that Bluxus is running easily. So I recommend saying is uh, 1080 definitely worth trying to, uh, you can go and change this, but honestly, 240 DPI should be fine. All right. So basically it's this option Okay, and then um, most course style, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then uh, the dis display resolution is depending of, as I said before, um, the your computer resources, okay? In my case, here's the recommended resolution is this one. Okay, so I can save it here and save changes. So every time, as I said, everything that you uh, made a change, you need to restart Bluestats. So doing the changes, uh, just making sure that you have the better performance for it and the resources are correct and this kind of things, you should not suffer anymore the lack of the Bluestats itself. I hope this helped to you. And if you have any comments, just leave it in the comment section and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.